What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We are here. The Wire Season 2 Episode 7. Last on D'Angelo Barksdale. He's done. He's done. It sucks. It's tragic. A tragic way to go. And it looks like he killed himself. It looks like he hung himself. And that's tragic as well. Because people are going to look at it one way. Some people know the truth. Some people won't. Most likely. And everything with Sabatka and the police and, you know, the Greeks and a lot of drama. A lot of drama unfolding. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Sorry we missed the past few weeks. I apologize for that. Uh, yeah, let's get into The Wire. Season 2, Episode 7. And 3, 2, one. Something in particular? Funeral. I'm sorry. Nah, a funeral, you know. No, no, I mean I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, yeah. That's a popular one. <sighs> well, who was it that passed? The relation? Nah, we worked together. I see. Professional relationship. <sighs> yeah, professional. I mean, you know, we wasn't all that tight, but he was still my nigga, you know? I think I'm on it. Um. Hell yeah, see? This is what I'm talking about. That gat and grip thing over there. The BMW, the, the gun. Your boy was too fierce for the pink? Nah, he wasn't all that, but damn. You know, when you stand with a nigga, you stand with him to the end. Otherwise, otherwise you ain't nothing yourself. True that. How your boy for? Words of wisdom. <sighs> Hung yourself. They're gonna go with that. He strung himself up. Judge ran wild on his ass. Gave him 20. I guess he couldn't handle all them years, you know? It's a weak ass nigga when you think about it. But, ain't no reason to. I tell you what, let me get something to strong colors, right? Red, black, whatever. But make it look like one of them towers down on Franklin Terrace. You know, the high rises, right? You, you want the arrangement? 221. All right. Anything else you wanted to say? Like what? Rest in peace and remembrance. Something like that. Something that says how you feel about the loss. <sighs> Fuck it, all right? Just, uh... Just make sure the towers look like they do, all right? Thanks. Uh. You cloned... A what? A computer. We can watch how the cargo comes off the ship in real time. Try to follow the contraband, see where it leads. If Ross comes walking through here and sees the two of you hunched over playing video games on 14 open murders, he's gonna fucking blow. That is exactly why we asked Lieutenant Daniels to set us up at his offsite over in the south. Come Friday, me and my niggas done sold all that shit off. Come pass and get paid. That's why I'm mad with it. Hey, frog. Come here. No, serious. Come here. First of all, and I don't know how to tell you this without hurting you deeply. First of all, you happen to be white. I don't work without no fucking contract. And I don't stand around listening to horseshit excuses like my cousin Ziggy, who, by the way, it's still owed money by you and all your down streetwise wiggers. <laughs> you go in your pocket, come up with 500 in advance and the 210 that you owe to Zig. You can work my package. I'm saying this is the shit you had out here last week. The dimes and Moochie was slinging. Everything to your satisfaction? Yeah, you want it. Prison people taking it that that bull hung his own self, right? So? My cousin always worked clean. Not my business. I know. But did you man Avon even know about it? You on your own here, huh? Mm. You right. It ain't none of your business. Uh, I wouldn't want a world of 
this mess up in anyone's ear. Yikes, bro. Look, I swear. This is gonna cause a lot of problems. He might have could have rolled again. Who knows? I'm just saying. It might have been for the best. His name is Head. Dick Head. <laughs> you get this bad boy within 10 feet of any conversation? Sounds like Chuck Thompson doing play by play. How much? 1500. <sighs> but uh, seeing as you're sworn officers, uh, the police discount drops it to 1250. You win? In my end, the man just said $1,250, Herc. Can we give it a test run? A test drive in the modern urban crime environment? Yeah. Leave me a credit card and take it for 48 hours. Change your mind, bring it back. No. I'm getting a feel for this shit. How it plays and works without the dirt. So when they lose a can... I see it go. <laughs> Playing video games. <laughs> The future is now. Oh, the future is now. Now, the Dutch have modeled the future of cargo management. Completely containerized cargo arrives into parts on ships a third of a mile long, 24 hours a day, with short turn. Smart card technology provides greater security and improved accountability, with no need for unreliable human surveillance. Four thousand people to move three hundred fifty million tons a year. That's right. That's efficiency net. By eliminating some of the more dangerous work, the uh, Rotterdam technologies have reduced employee work-related accidents and injuries by sixty percent. I think we can all be pretty happy with that, can't we? Question? Yes. Yeah. Their GPS readings are they exactly? Can't get hurt if you ain't working, right? You know, Twenty-foot containers. No, no. They uh, work with all kinds of cargo and all kinds of weather. Coming. Catlow? I only fuck her once. Christ, everybody down the point fucked her once, Zig. When Pokey Barber got hit with paternity, his sheriff had to come to his house and serve him with papers. Shyster, shyster, shyster. <laughs> <laughs> Got to say, man, your thing is tight. The best around here in a long while. Credit card. Ah! I cleared it with KGA. Oh. We'll be <laughs> oh, that is that's tragic. That is tragic. Oh, <laughs> what a goofy ass sequence. Tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. He's a on the main line now. 
Y'all got the best territory and no kind of product. I got the best product, but could stand a little more territory so you see where this thing need to go. I'm operating under the assumption that because of your relentless diligence, the funding for the grain pair is going to pass the assembly. But I'm also talking about the canal. So you're going to talk about the canal. So the Muldoons who run the old line state, they're going to talk about the canal until someday, some way, that motherfucker gets dredged and we get some ships in here. I love Frank Sabatka. I fucking love him. I want to work for him. Got one that disappeared. Get the container number? 1137 to 1214. Go ahead, Lister. We got one. You prepared to copy? Send it. Um, Zulu, Tango, Golf, Romeo. Nine, seven, three, two, six, five. Twelve fourteen. He went around the checkout. Copy. Ninety nine. Target's coming at you. You see it? I got him. I'm Browning, heading west toward the city. Man down. Earth five. Who? New Charles. Ambo's on the way. Jesus Christ. Night work with break book, Frank. I hate this shit. You guys gonna move this thing or what? Two, three. Uh, uh, Charlie, here, take a drink. <laughs> Cares for his workers. That's all that matters. You know, I, got the name. I got your murders. But what I need from you, I get. No bullshit, no arguments. No arguments. I can care about you. And I can want us to be friends. And if you give me enough time, Jimmy, maybe I will actually want you to be happy. But how the hell am I supposed to trust you? Mom, quick! It's a spider! If the case does come together, I would at least have Rawls as a rabbi. It could still work for me. Listen to yourself. <laughs> you know what I fell in love with first? Do you? Your ambition. Where'd that man go? Ah, one episode. That's their relationship is just odd. It's odd. Uh, but fantastic episode. Fantastic episode. I a lot of shit going on. <laughs> a lot of shit going on. A lot of good scenes this episode, especially just regarding you know the death of D'Angelo, especially that beginning scene with Bodie. You know he's that's that's his guy. But, you know, you had the scene at the beginning, um, you know, coming in here for a funeral, you know, sorry, sorry for what, sorry for your loss. And he's like, oh, like, that just shows Bodie is just, he's not used to actually somebody saying, I'm sorry, man, I hope you're doing all right. That, youngin's a... A soldier. He's a soldier, but it, it is tragic, and it shows he's care and he's he cares and he's honest. Um, you had, you know, string, Stringer Bell. He's the, it's on him, bro. And 
I don't think it'll bode well. I, it'll it'll come out at some point. It'll come out at some point, and but at this point, who knows? Because Avon switched up very quickly. Weebay was talking to him, and he's just like, "Man, how are you gonna stop it, bro? He's weak." And then Avon calls him weak, and all that. And it's just. Slandering his name, and even for something, because he didn't technically kill himself, so. It, it's, it, it is tragic. It, it's tragic. Um, fucking Ziggy, his whole character is just one big misstep, or not even misstep, just a, tra- he's another just tragic character. All this shit, the, you know, the paternity test, and. And just everything he's getting himself into and going to fight and whatever that dude's Maui or whatever. Ugh, it sucks. It sucks. And then the dude on the with Nick was talking to the goofy dude. <laughs> A lot of I don't know, man. They they got the, the, the cargo container. It's gonna get fucked. I wonder what's in it. It's it's probably obviously just drugs, I would have to assume. Um, but also, you know, uh, what a hot like. I want to like Frank Sabaka. He cares about his workers. He does them right. He just the means and how he gets this cash flow is a little unethical. Obviously, drugs is one thing. You know, drugs are always going to happen. There's always going to be somebody. And, but once it turns into humans, it's like, dude, you got to stop. You just, you just, you just got to stop. You got to chill. You got to cut it off. <clears throat> Quit it. He's still going. And then Nicky, he's Nick doing his, you know, his packages and, the drugs and I, I mean they're getting money. Like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know, you're not getting enough work. They're like that. That's the big thing. Frank, he's like, I mean, we got to get these people paid somehow. We got to get this money falling in here. We're not getting enough like just ships in general. So now we got to get from you know, you know trafficking drugs and stuff like that so it's a more of a it's it's a problem with the system that's leading them to this it's a very systemic issue there's a choice to be made and there's a right or wrong choice but it, there's a lot of nuance to it. it's not black and white he's doing what's right for his workers that's what he cares about he had a that accident at the end with a, that was rough that was rough. Dude lost his leg, and he paid them very, probably very well, but no leg. And now people are going to question, like, how is he getting this money? People are going to know. People talk. Your workers talk. And even if you're a respectable boss, they're going to talk. Especially if it's something you do that's kind of like, what the fuck? You know? So, I don't know. <sighs> And then fucking Herc and Carver, the little, the, the, the $1,500 speaker thing, the, the, the tennis ball, just, he was chasing it, oh my, that was a goofy ass scene, but I fucking loved it, that shit was hilarious. And now they're watching Nick, and it's, it's gonna get interesting, man, it's gonna get exciting, and. It's really building to somewhere and something, and uh, Daniel's taking in the the ho- the the, the deaths, the homicide. Like ugh. his wife, obviously not having it. She's she's gonna snap. The conversations they always have between them is just like, what the fuck's going on, bro? But and then poor McNulty, you know, I would say for him just show her that you can trust her and give her time and space and time (laughs) literally that is it 
And it's her choice if she would want to come back, and who knows? He should be grateful the time that they're having together there at that specific time and stuff. Trying to like, uh, let's go upstairs. <laughs> no, you got chip. Uh, very good episode though. Very very good episode. I love that beginning scene with Bodie. Very good. Uh, the funeral scene was was there. Frank Sabatka, love that dude. Unethical at times, but love that dude. I want to work for him. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram. All social media down in the description below. We'll catch you for another video.